Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm really, really sorry this video is late up. Um, I've had one of those days. Um, I woke up to discover my Rossi base had, um, I'd knocked it over somehow and I didn't realise I'd not done it up properly. It's literally stuck to my desk. I can't believe it. So I'm a little bit upset about that today. Um, anyway, on to more exciting things. I've got my flexi hand. Um, I'm going to be using some Model 1's gel polishes from the Glitter Party collection that they sent me. Um, I'm also going to be using some of the tools from the shoulder bag video with the toolkit in. So the nail tips are too long for what I want today. So I'm going to use the clippers and I'm just going to remove the majority of the... Not the majority. So I'm going to remove the nail tip but I take most of the the free edge off off one side and then I literally just clip that last little bit using the other side um, and I'm gonna do that all the way across the hand make sure when you're doing this that the nails are all the same length you don't want some shorter nails and some longer nails because that's gonna look odd like I managed to do the other day with that long thumbnail that was really stupid <laughs> So I'm happy with the length. I'm now going to take my Model 1's 100, 180 grit file. As you can see, I've already been using it. Not on a person or a people. Well, actually, I'm a person. I've used it on myself. Um, I'm just going to neaten up the free edge. And then I'm going to take the, um, the brush that they sent me. And I'm just going to brush off the dust from the free edge. I needn't have done this bit just yet because uh, in a minute I'm going to take my Model 1's buffer and I'm going to buff over the surface of the tip. The gel seems to, sometimes gel polish doesn't stick nicely to these tips so if you just buff the surface you don't need to use your base coat or anything um, but obviously you would need to on a real person um, but on my flexi hand I find that as long as I buff them sometimes I don't even need to buff them but I thought today I'd buff them and then I'm using the brush again to remove any debris dust debris and we're ready to work on the nails. So I'm gonna be using to start with Purple Ring and Shiny Pearl. As I said earlier, these are from the Glitter Party collection. I'm gonna start by creating an ombre with these two colors over all five nails. So the first color is Purple Ring and I'm gonna put this at the cuticle area and work it to about maybe just over halfway. Um, I then took my detailing brush and I kind of began to brush it down, but I didn't need to do that. Just put the shiny pearl at the free edge and then I'm going to take my detailing brush and I'm literally just going to make brush strokes up and down where the colours meet and literally they blend so easily together. You'll see here, they just, oh, just, they just go really nice together. So literally just do this until you're happy. Um, I did wipe off some of the excess gel polish that was on the brush every now and then. I'm just getting rid of that bit. Um, and then I'm gonna go on to the, I'm gonna show you this finger doing it this way as well because I, I've done it a little bit differently on this one. Like I didn't, well I didn't. Well I did, but I didn't because I didn't show you it. <laughs> So literally, I've just put the gel polish on. I haven't used my brush to make brush strokes down. I'm literally just gonna put both colors on. Make sure you put enough on that you can blend them together. There we go. And then I'm gonna take my brush. I've got like a tickle in my throat and it's really annoying me when I talk. Oh, hopefully you can't tell. So literally, I'm just brushing up and then I'm brushing down and then I'll wipe off any excess gel. So you can see there. There we go. So I'm going to do this all the way along the hand. So which I've done here. 
And then I'm gonna go in with a second coat, but instead of doing each nail at a time, I'm gonna go all the way across them with shiny pearl. Nope, with purple ring. <laughs> See, I'm I'm, move, I'm putting the gel polish onto the nail down to about half, you know, where the middle of that blend is. And then I'm going to go in with shiny pearl and just sort of do it so that the colours almost meet. And then taking the brush again, I'm just going to do those stroke, little strokes until I'm happy with the blend. Honestly, it didn't take a lot at all. And I was just, I was perfectly happy with how they ombre together. They're really easy to ombre these these colours. I don't know if it's because they're both shimmery or not, but they work really well together, so, so that was good. I'm then going to use Pinky Drink, and I'm going to put these... I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put two little blobs on random places on the index finger. And I am going to get my detailer brush again, and I'm going to make these into more proportionate circles. Proportionate. Is that the right word? Um, better circular shapes. Because <laughs> I'm going to create some baubles. So this is going to be kind of a party set, but with a difference, I suppose. The baubles make it a little bit Christmassy. So I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 45 seconds. Then I'm going to do the same on the... This is the ring finger. I've made these blobs a little bit bigger. So these are gonna be slightly bigger baubles. I decided I could go bigger, so I did. Mm. There we go. And then I cured that again for 45 seconds. Then I'm gonna take Diamond Rain. This is a transparent gel with silver glitter in it. So I'm just gonna use this to create a just a line around the center of the bauble and if you make it at a if you make it kind of curved it makes the bauble look more 3d like if you just put it straight across the bauble it would look funny um, if you've done just like a straight line it makes it look more circular I think that's the right word is that the right word I don't know but that's the word I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna take just a little blob and put it at the top of the bauble so this is like the bit that you put the string through to hang it onto the tree. Who's got their tree up, by the way? Has anyone got their Christmas decorations up yet? I know, it's not December. Go away, Scrooges. <laughs> um, I love Christmas, but my other half is a Scrooge, so we have to compromise. Um, ours go up at the beginning of December, um, which I don't mind. You know, it, it does make it, I suppose, quite a long time if you have them up but each to their own I love seeing other people's decorations up and I can't wait to put mine up so yay um, so I'm using Edelweiss which is their white gel polish and I'm just gonna put some lines from the top of the bauble all the way to the cuticle area the top of the nail <coughs> and then I'm gonna take a dotting tool I'm using this one so it's not too big but it's not too small and I'm just gonna put dots onto the the string that's holding the baubles up i suppose i don't know what you really want to call those <laughs> just to give it a little bit more detail i'm going to do three on this longer bauble and then one on the other bauble and then i'm going to cure that for 45 seconds now we're going to top coat and i'm going to do um a glossy top coat on the pinky the middle finger and the thumb and then I'm gonna do a matte top coat on the index and the ring finger so the fingers the nails with the baubles on are gonna be matte just to add a little bit of contrast hope that's the right word otherwise I'm gonna sound silly though I probably sound silly anyway so it doesn't really matter There we go, I just wanted to make sure that that whole nail was covered, otherwise you would have seen shiny spots. But this is the finished set close up. I really love the look of this gel polish, matte finished. I think it looks really nice. 
but it also looks really nice shiny as well um, so I'll leave the website to models one model ones sorry in the description box below um, go and check them out and I hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and as always I will see you lovely lot tomorrow thanks for watching bye